Artists, I just had the weirdest dream. Da 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 with Mr. Morris. Yeah. Welcome back, my artists. And today, just like the intro just told you, we're talking about dreams, but not just dreams. We're talking about art and dreams. You see, this time right here, when you're first waking up, you're kind of groggy, and you're in all the air. This is a special time for artists and inventors, even. Let me tell you why. You see, class, when you go to sleep at night, a certain part of your brain actually shuts off, but the rest of your brain stays very, very active. And yes, I wake up every morning prepared as I am now. When we sleep at night, the part of our brain called our frontal cortex, well, it shuts off. And that part of your brain, it deals with reason, it deals with logic, it deals with all manner of concentrating skills, such as your ability of doing math and understanding science. That comes from your frontal cortex. But at night, when it goes to sleep, it makes it so all the crazy chaos and wonderment happening in your brain can all be released. When you dream at night, your dreams are wacky because the part of your brain that dictates that reason and logic, it's shut off. Without that sense of reason occurring in your brain, it makes it so your brain starts to make connections with things that aren't normally connected. All of a sudden, the fact that you went skiing the night before and you saw your grandma last April combine together to make it so that you have a dream about your grandma skiing with a bowl of pudding on her head. Where does the bowl of pudding come from? I don't know, it's your dream, but it doesn't change the fact that, yeah, these things that are going around in your head, they start getting connected together. When you wake up in the morning, there's this little, tiny, wonderful period of time. That time is where your brain is still catching up. It hasn't woken up all the way yet. It is that time that you can be awake but still kind of be asleep. That frontal cortex takes some time to kick back in. Once it kicks back in, then all of a sudden the silly dreams that you had are just that. They seem like they're silly dreams, and a lot of time you'll even forget them. But if you stop when you wake up first thing in the morning, you open your eyes. Actually, don't even open your eyes. Just keep them shut. You're awake, but you're kind of sleepy still. Think about those dreams. And then you open your eyes and you write them down or you sketch them down. A lot of artists have done this for many, many years. Inventors do it also because sometimes when they're trying to invent something new, it's that twilight time, that golden time in the morning where their frontal cortex hasn't kicked in yet, where they can make connections with things they wouldn't normally make. One of my favorite stories about one of my favorite artists is a story about Salvador Dali. Salvador Dali would sit in his favorite reclining chair and he'd hold a big spoon and he put a plate on the floor underneath where he was holding the spoon. He would go to sleep. As he went to sleep, his grip would loosen and that spoon would slide out of his hand and wake him back up. And as soon as he woke back up, he'd hurry up and he'd sketch down or write down exactly what it was that he'd just been dreaming about. In this way, he was able to find inspiration from his subconscious, the parts of his brain that weren't necessarily on all the time without that frontal cortex influencing them. My artists, what I want you to do is I want you to spend a morning or two with a sketchbook by your side, with a pencil, with that sketchbook. And the moment you wake up, even if it's in the middle of the night to get a drink of water, the moment you wake up, Write down your dreams or sketch out your dreams. Even if they don't make sense, that's okay. Write them down as you remember them in that moment. Try to remember details. Try to remember what the color of something was or what the smell or the shape. Try to remember the order in which events happened. After you have some sketches or some notes down on paper, that's when the art part comes in. You're going to make a piece of artwork that's showing us a scene from your dream. Artists, until next time, remember, be kind to yourself and keep on creating. I can't wait to see those dreams. I'm Mr. Morris. Have a great day.